Good morning, good evening, wherever you are across the world and the universe. Welcome to my Quantum Living Podcast at the intersection of science and spirituality. I'm your host, Anna Anderson, quantum coach and teacher, intuitive guide, and above all, an inquisitive soul. This podcast is about how we can bring the various spiritual, metaphysical, and esoteric concepts validated by quantum physics and modern cosmology to the very practical level, to improve and enrich our life experience as individuals, communities, and the humankind. Whether you are listening to this show while driving or commuting, doing chores around the house, relaxing on a couch, or flying in a spaceship across the galaxy, I hope you'll enjoy today's episode. Okay, let's begin. Hello and welcome back to Quantum Living. The twists and turns of our life create its rich tapestry. Some are unexpected, some seem to be planned. Synchronicity? Absolutely. (laughs) Some are just dead ends, but think about it. A dead end is a place of pause, rest and regrouping. Not just a sign that we are on the wrong path, or a source of frustration and delay. I was working on my computer the other day, sorting out some technical issues, when I realized that I hadn't configured one of my programs correctly. In fact, I hadn't configured it at all. (laughs) That's the thing, you see. You install a program that will run in the background, allowing you to do what you want to do. However, you need to configure it in accordance with your preferences and the specifications of your computer. In other words, you need to tell the program how you want it to run. You are in control. If you don't configure your program, it will run with its default settings whether you like them or not, whether they will serve you or not, whether they will facilitate or hinder your work, overtly or covertly, depending on the program. The dreaded default settings. I'm very suspicious of them. (laughs) They might be doing something not in my interest, not what I want, collect my data or God knows what, and so I will always attempt to make some change, any change, no matter how small, to make the settings my own, unless I forget to do it at all. (laughs) I will come back to this in a moment. If you let someone else do it for you, the program will be configured to their specifications and preferences, not yours. Your instructions may or may not be followed. It's as simple as that. And you won't know it until you get stuck or get an outcome you didn't want. Shucks. (laughs) Frustrated, I muttered few unkind words to the program. Too late, said the program. Don't blame me. You should have configured me in a way that suits you and your agenda. Hmm, okay, my fault. And then it hit me. That's a perfect metaphor for our life. In fact, more than a metaphor. A theory that our reality is a holographic projection from some cosmic computer, i.e. it's a program, is rapidly growing legs of popularity in both the scientific circles and amongst the mainstream seekers of truth. So, what does it mean? It means that we need to treat our life like we treat a computer program. We need to configure it to begin with, in accordance with our own preferences and specifications, in accordance with our agenda. If we don't, we give our power away. We forfeit our entitlement to set sail in the direction of our choosing. We waive the right to have a life driven by our intention. Intentionality equals causality. Now, don't get me wrong. The default settings in our life experience is a blueprint designed by our spiritual self or soul, which contains an agenda. So we can never live our life willy-nilly with no direction at all. You can't just set out on the ocean of creation on a raft, drifting, not knowing where the current will take you or whether you will get safely somewhere, anywhere at all. 
There is a current in the ocean of creation just for you, just for this lifetime, that will move you forward until the exit point. With not much fun or joy or fulfillment necessarily, I might add, (laughs) but you will get there. If you do nothing, have no thought or desire or intention to get to somewhere nice, most likely you will end up in the last place you would ever want to be. So, what's the point? At least put up your shirt on a stick on your raft as a sail and point your finger in one direction. That's where I want to go. The winds of change will take you there, eventually, maybe after some twists and turns through the rough waters of your destiny, which is now adjusting to your specific course. Will it fully adjust? To answer this question, you would need to know the blueprint of your destiny to begin with, which you do, of course, at the soul level. But either way, the answer is probably no, for one reason and one reason only. We don't know what we don't know. (laughs) As silly as it sounds, this statement is actually quite profound. You might want a grain of sand, and instead you receive an exquisite two-mile beach with pristine white sand that will take your breath away with its beauty. I'll leave you to ponder this thought and extrapolate its meaning. I mentioned earlier the default settings in your program. That's someone else's agenda. Perhaps the basic settings for the program to run, or an assumption that this setting is best for you, so just accept it and don't mess with it. Don't think too much. Let us run your program. Don't waste your time. Sounds familiar? Someone else's beliefs we accept as our own without discernment. Someone else's agenda. Heck no! Your soul, the creator all that is, wants to play with you in the co-creation of your life experience. And playing requires participation of all players. God wants to know what is that you want. This is an invitation to stretch and use the muscles of imagination and creativity embedded in our physical being we often forget we have. Our intention for the direction of our life is the needle in the compass of our destiny. It is supported and guided with synchronicities, insights, miracles and magic. Look for the signs and follow them. That's just a starting point. You don't know what you don't know. There is a fine line between setting an intention for our life and trusting the higher intelligence to deliver this or something better. And we do need both sides of the spectrum. The key is to know what you want and let go of all expectations. So the next question is, when and how will I get to where I want to be? And the answer is, you are already there. Close your eyes now and imagine your desired ideal life ideal future. See it clearly, in great detail, engaging all your senses. You are already there, which is actually here. (laughs) Now open your eyes and superimpose your desired life, dragging it like a photographic slide over your current experience. Notice the energetic incongruence between the two and examine it closely. What stands in the way of replacing one with the other? It could be the time required to change your physical reality, or some additional steps you first need to take, or your limiting beliefs and fears, preventing you, for one reason or another, from improving your life. In short, you need to match the frequency of your desired experience to connect with it through the law of resonance. The time and action factors are usually clear, so you know what needs to be done on the physical plane. 
As I said earlier, synchronicities, insights, miracles and magic will unfold on your path to make it happen. The limiting beliefs and fears, on the other hand, are usually hidden, inconspicuous, buried deeply in your unconscious mind, fiercely protected by your ego from being discovered, as then the ego would lose its dominance and manipulation of your life experience through self-sabotage. Yep, you heard me correctly. Nasty little thing. (laughs) There is order and thought in the creation. And to help things moving forward in the right direction, we must start from scratch as the co-creators of our reality. These are not just fluffy New Age words. Understanding and accepting this concept is key. To set your intention is to configure the program of your life. You may not be the chief programmer, but you do have access to the settings through your interface and can absolutely change them. So, why wait? That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you really loved it, please post a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify to encourage others to listen to it. For the show notes, guest and podcast info, reviews, comments, and much more, please visit quantumlivingpodcast.com. And if you'd like to dive deeper into quantum living and explore how you could work with me, please contact me and I'd be delighted to help and support you on your quantum journey. I am your host, Anna Anderson. I look forward to connecting with you in the next episode of Quantum Living. Until then, keep your vibrations high and be well.